Hey guys, it's Ashley. Today we are going to be cleaning and organizing up my office. It's per usual a disaster. I've come to accept that, you know, our craft space, our offices or whatever, they're made to make a mess in and then clean up that mess just to make another mess. <laughs> so, I mean, actually, this this video I filmed a few days ago and it's already a hot mess express again because I've been in here. So, and that's okay. You know what? That's what these rooms are for, right? For us to come in, to craft in, to plan in to create things, to let cre creativity um, go unleashed and they get messy when that happens. So that's okay, right? Trying to convince myself of that if you can't tell. So anyways, this is uh, this is my space. It's a little bit of a mess. Things are kind of piled up everywhere. Some of this stuff has to stay. I wish it could go. I just have nowhere to take it yet. Or I'm um, some of these totes that I have have things that I need to donate or get, get rid of or whatever and I just haven't finished organizing other parts of my house um, so I just wait until usually I get everything finished then I get rid of those things my desk my desk needs to be cleared off so I can actually focus and it's not messy up here is a disaster but the main part of this entire process is to kind of get everything slightly cleaned up I'm not gonna go crazy with the cleaning the major part of this video is organizing my embellishments you guys Listen, I have been, oh gosh, I don't know, months, months trying to find the perfect way to organize embellishments for memory keeping, right? And I have all of these kits that I've gotten from Allie Edwards and Heidi Swap and other places online um, that I, I just don't know how to organize them. I don't didn't know the best way to do it. And I have been months trying to find those things. I've worked in bins drawers I've had different dividers and organizers and different things and nothing has worked out but I was in TJ Maxx one day and every time I go in TJ Maxx which is not very often because the closest one to me is about 40 minutes but every time I go into TJ Maxx I look for organizing containers and I stumbled across the perfect one and you guys are going to see it here in just a few minutes but that's why I wanted to get my desk cleaned off. I kind of wanted to clean up the space a little bit so I could focus on organizing my embellishments. Quick side note, if you see here, I'm putting all of my planner stickers inside of this cart. They've been in there now for, I don't know, maybe a year, maybe a little less, whatever. I don't recommend that, actually. And if that's your only option, then yes, go for it. Right now, it's my only option because I took all my stickers off of the shelf that I had them on so I could put my embellishments and all my memory keeping stuff up there. So I'm using the cart for now, but 10 out of 10 don't recommend. It's super hard. I mean, if you just had a few stickers on the top shelf of that cart, that's perfect. But I have stickers on all three tiers of it. And the second tier and the bottom tier, those are just too hard to find stickers in. I just leave them in there. I don't want to dig through it because it's too, I don't know, there's too many in there. So if you are like me and you have a ton of stickers, I don't recommend sticking them inside of a cart unless you're just using the top sh the top tier of it. So here I'm just kind of cleaning up some of the little things. This is my kind of filming drawer. Uh, keep my microphones in here, a couple of tripods, different things like that stay inside of there. I have deodorant laying on my desk. That <laughs> um, actually might still be there at the end of this. I don't remember. Look at this cool little thing. Oh my gosh, I didn't video it. Dag nabbit. I wish I would have. Okay. I will make a video of this. Um, I gotta show this to you guys. So I suck at saving money. Um, I can save it, I can keep it put up, but then the instant that I want something, I just go pull from it, right? And I don't have anything categorized. And I was like, I need a way to categorize things. And I found this really cool planner. It was like 13 bucks on Amazon. And I now have all of my savings into different categories. Um, so for example, if I want to go shopping, I'm going to pull from the shopping category. I can't take it out of my car category. Do you know what I mean? That has helped me so, so much with saving you guys. I have to share this with you because I get the concepts of saving. It's just actually sticking to it. And now that I have categories, it's making me, um, stick to it a lot better. So anyways, that's another side note. I've got a lot of side notes for you guys today. And then, um, one more thing before we dive into this little organizing bin that I found. Um, my voice sounds wonky because I've had some sinus issues. For those of you who have struggled with allergies your entire life, like hands down, I am so sorry for you. I have had allergy problems maybe three times my entire life and it sucks. So I, I feel for you guys. Um, my husband struggles with them. My son does. And so I know that that kind of stuff sucks. So getting the desk cleaned off and then I will show you guys this organizer that I found. I wanted something that could hold 
all of my embellishments and I could pull from it um, whenever I'm sitting down doing memory keeping and kept everything organized and I I found the thing to do that with I'm so excited for it Right, here it is look at this it's got 12 drawers in it that I can pull out that's 12 different categories to organize my embellishments you guys this thing is perfect here's the deal I found it at TJ Maxx um, I genuinely cannot remember how much I paid for it but I was looking them up on Amazon because I thought hey this is great I'm gonna get some more don't order from Amazon do not because it was like hundred and forty dollars and that's just bananas. This thing, I did not pay, I paid a fraction of that, you know, at TJ Maxx. So I'm going to keep looking at TJ Maxx, but it's really cool because it also has dividers in it. So you can create even more categories if you have small ones. But as you can see, I have these kits stuck everywhere and it, I don't want to memory keep when things are strung all over the place. It doesn't make me excited. Some of these kits I do keep inside of the envelopes because, for example, I have a week in the life kit. I want that week in a life kit to stay there so whenever I participate in week in a life I have the entire kit together but most of these other embellishments no they need to be organized these two little things little white organizers I got this from scrapbook.com I do love them I do recommend them and um, they're really really nice I like keeping the little um, four by six cards in there and then the two by three cards fit in there as well so here I'm just going through and I'm just going to start organizing everything With these organizers one of them just kind of will end up with random things in it where I'm kind of growing my stash so there's not a whole lot in it the other one is for my son that I keep all of the like outdoorsy and different things like that together boy kind of stuff um, for his Cub Scout journal so whenever I'm memory planning or keeping inside of his Cub Scout journal I can pull that one little container out and boom I have everything that I need minus you know the embellishments that I stick inside of here so I took out the little dividers because I'm not going to use those for now. I did stick those in the bottom, uh, the bottom right. And then I'm just going to start organizing these. And you'll see here in a little bit, I end up using sticky notes for labels for now. That way it makes it easier if I want to move the drawers around and stuff, which I know they have little labels, but if I decide to name it something else, I can. And I don't have to, you know, mess up the label or white out or remake it or whatever. Sticky notes work amazing for that. Gotta give me 
me some love cause when I'm with you I'm in paradise You know how to make me feel alive Gotta give me some love, nah, nah Gotta give me some love, nah, nah, nah Gotta give me some love, nah, nah, nah You gotta give me some love, nah, nah, nah Gotta give me some love, nah, nah. So the organizer on the left, that's the one that I said is for my son's stuff that I use for memory keeping in his Cub Scout journal. The one on the right, again, this is kind of like where I'm building my stash of those 4 by 6 cards, 2 by 3 cards, um, other little kind of random embellishments that I just want to stick in there. And also I've got some um, large acrylic words that wouldn't fit in the drawer, so those went inside of there too. And then I found these cool little dividers that fit in these little organizers on scrapbook.com. It's all underneath of their organizing stuff so you guys can see it there, but the dividers fit perfectly. They're like little tab dividers. And so if I wanna do the four by six cards, let's say I do it by, I don't know, holiday. I could have a category for uh, Valentine's Day, 4th of July, Thanksgiving, Christmas, um, I could do a winter theme. Do you see what I mean? Like make the different categories for that. So I really love those dividers. I got them in white. They also have multicolor ones. I just thought white would keep it a little cleaner and easier to see the things. Although the multicolored ones would be cute. If you're into the fun, colorful, bright, definitely go for those. But I do love these little organizers and I highly recommend those. One more thing that I recommend if you guys are getting into stamping, most of you guys have probably done this and I'm like a noob over here with it, but if you're getting into stamping, definitely invest in the stamping sleeves. They're these little sleeves that you can slide your stamps down into and my gosh, does it make it so much easier to go through your stamp collection to see what you're, you know, to find something. And then I also like it because it keeps the little white cards behind the stamps in there with the stamp. And that tells me who the stamp is from, which helps me whenever I make videos, I can be like, hey, I got this from Ali Edwards, or hey, this one's from Heidi Swap, or I got this stamp from another, another site or whatever, so I can share those things with you guys. So here we're gonna get this, we're gonna get this put up, and you guys, I really love it. I cannot tell you how excited I am after months of searching for like the perfect way to organize embellishments. This is it, so make sure you check all your TJ Maxx's for it. But we're gonna get some labels made for this. Again, I just used sticky notes from the get-go. And then once I'm like set on it, and I know this is how I want it to stay organized, then I will actually use the labels that are on the drawers. But cleaning off, reorganizing the top of that shelf so I can get this little cube organizer set up there. To label these, I have one for words. This can be any like wooden words, veneer words, plastic words, whatever, any words or phrases. I have stars, circles, hexagons, hearts, random shapes. So this is like um, ovals and some of those really like fancy looking shapes. And then I have one for tags. 
and then again I have one that has my sequences in it so that actually leaves me with four open containers four open little drawers not containers so four extra drawers so that leaves room to grow but then what's really cool so for example in the drawer that I have random shapes where I don't have very many I can use the little plastic dividers and create even more space inside of there to add other things maybe I have a few triangles inside of there or something like that All right, let's get this thing put up, ready to go. And it's really lightweight too, so if I wanna sit down at the desk and I can pull it down there with me, I can. The drawers also come out, so if I just wanna pull out individual drawers, that's easy to do too. But getting it up there, reorganizing the top of this cabinet, um, kind of moving things around so things fit a little bit better, and just hang tight and I will show you what everything looks like up close. I've been using this for a little while now, not super long, but a little bit, and it's working out great. So something like this, or this one in particular, if you guys have embellishments, I'm serious, go on the hunt for it. Just don't purchase it from Amazon because the price is out of whack. <laughs> and I wanna show you a close up of this gorgeous mermaid. A dear friend of mine got me. She is gorgeous, I love it. Thank you, Miss Mara, I love this mermaid. Look at how pretty it is. It's got glitter all over it. Just had to share that with you guys. If you guys know me, I love anything nautical, so the mermaid is fitting for it. Before you go, I just wanted to say thank you for listening to my raspy, sinusy voice. Thanks for hanging out with me and going on this little organizing journey, and I will see you in the next video.